daily bread. I knead the dough whose oven you stoke. We consume each loaf wrapped in smoke. Family Family Oh yes, I'm sorry my mother wasn't alive. She would have loved that poem. Yeah. Family Silver. That spoon fell out of my mother's mouth before I was born. But I was endowed with a tuning fork. And I use tuning fork in another poem. I don't know what they intended it, but it's called Night Music Pizzicato. And I don't think it's in there. Oh, Night Music. Okay. Yes, it's page one. I have it to one thirty-eight. One thirty-eight. Yeah. Okay. Night Music Pizzicato. I was in the country for a few days, and I thought I knew exactly what the bullfrog sounded like. Then the next day, I had to revise it. Night music, pizzicato. Why am I so fond of the double bass of bullfrogs? Or do I hear the prongs of a tuning fork, not a bull fiddle, responding in perfect accord to one another across this pond? How does each frog know he is not his brother? Which frog to follow? Who was his mother? Or is it a Jew's harp I hear in the dark? I read that the illicit printer, instead of writing Jaws harp, wrote Jew's harp. In Providence. That poem, that poem got me, a, that poem has made headway in the world of homme d'affaire. They all love it. Because apparently to expand up to the point of the implosion of capitalism, communism imploded, and I'm afraid capitalists, you have to keep on borrowing money. And I was, in the 80s, I got a few readings on the Queen Elizabeth reciting my poems. And I met a, Mil uh, a Nobel Prize economist, and I wrote, recited this poem at the lecturer's party, and he started his uh, second lecture using this poem, Improvidence. And it starts with the word, Oh, but not Oh my heart, or Oh my soul, but O-W-E, the imperative of the verb to owe. Improvidence. Oh, do not own what you can borrow. Live on each loan. Forget tomorrow. Why not be in debt? To one who can give you whatever you need, it is good to abet another's good deed. Very hard to do. You're taught it's better to give than to receive, mm. but it's very hard to provoke that knowledge in other people. Mm. And also, the word abet is linked in this country with one word, you abet a crime. Mm. It has. So I broke that link. It is good to have had enough. And in a way, that is a re somebody pointed out that is a re religious poem. Mm -hmm. Because we're told two things. God helps those who help themselves. But if you try to provide utterly for yourself, you don't leave any room for divine providence. Uh, could you, there's a couple of poems we've missed out that would seem to link in with these. Uh, voyage. Water o Voyage. Water Opens Without End. It, and it is the first poem in the book, isn't it? Well, I, no, I, I, I crossed the Atlantic the first time on the Queen Elizabeth, the original Queen Elizabeth, when it was a troop ship. And this may interest you. In the 30s, before it became a troop ship, before the war, when it was with full passenger list, complete and crew, there were 3,000 people on it. When it was a troop ship, we were over 20,000. And it was, as it was said that we didn't travel in convoy, 
because it was supposed to be faster than any submarine. But if a submarine had been waiting for us, anyway, we got across and we were, the portholes were sealed. It was painted gray, of course, and we traveled without convoy. We were 20,000 below decks as soon as the sun started to set. That was the first crossing. People now don't even know about cro crossing the Atlantic. Have you crossed by boat? It's another world. You lose track of time. Voyage. Water opens without end at the bow of a ship rising to descend away from it. Days become one. I am who I was. Now that poem doesn't provoke violent dissension like the one about standing at the window by uh, with life passing me by, but some people uh, see, say, no, I, I see a continuum through my life. There's a kind of, with, there's a kind of unity, and that's why I, I, days become one. I am who I was, and in a sense, it appears in the variations of that appear in other poems. Mm -hmm. But some people see a cleavage, and you know, they are not the one. He is not, or she is not the one. So I just say it for myself and to whom it pertains. But also I would like to tell you that during my long stays, because when you travel by boat, you don't just fly back in a few weeks. I used to go to Vespers at, at uh, Westminster Abbey. I love to hear the psalms sung, showering in those pristine voices, blessings on Jacob. And, and also, I love that Episcopal prayer uh, world without end, don't they say something uh, in the praise of God, world with, water opens without end at the bow of a ship. I may have picked up that without end 